Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman, and uh, we've got a couple of gentlemen that are coming on right now to talk about the film industry, believe it or not. And uh, guys, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have it, you introduce yourselves. David, we'll start with you, uh, and you are from the Film Michigan Film Association. That's correct. I'm with the, the chair of the Michigan Film Industry Association. Uh, we're a bunch of... Uh, volunteers, unpaid volunteers for the last five years who've been working and are very, very excited right now uh, to have a bipartisan support with House bills and Senate bills and glad to be here and thank you for the invite. Can I introduce my associate, Alexander? Absolutely. Go with Alexander. Alexander Pages, ladies and gentlemen, our uh, chair and the guru behind uh, the design of our film incentive program and alex i'm passing it to thank you you very much yeah i'm alexander page and i'm the uh, legislation action committee chair and as david said uh unpaid volunteer uh and been with the group for over four years so this is a, a long big passion project for both of us well i'll tell you what it, it is a big project uh let's let's talk uh first a little bit david tell us about the uh the association what it is what it does well, the association, um, we try to raise around $100,000 a year, pays for our lobbyists and for our infrastructure. We use MLC and Edge uh, Communications, uh, and they uh, track us, take care of our marketing. They do an amazing job. Uh, the group was started uh, to bring it back. There's 40 states and uh, cities that have a film incentive program of some type. And we thought it was so bizarre that, uh, that Michigan didn't participate. I mean, it's a world leader, obviously, in the auto industry. So we've been working behind the scenes. And with Alexander's team, uh, they were able to break down uh, the legislation, rebuild it from the ground up. They studied what worked around the country. We took the best of the best, and they assembled it all together and uh, put together a program we think that's really tight uh, with a major ROI to the state. And we'll keep jobs in the state. So that's my shtick. No, that's a, and that's a great one. And how long have you guys been around as an association? Uh, the association, I think, uh, was born legally three years ago. But we we met as a group, as a grassroots organization, uh, starting about five years ago. Well, I remember having been uh, worked for Jennifer Granholm back then. She she was very active in getting the cinematic um activity here in michigan well if you go you know to that point if you remember the economy in 2007 2008 you know it was just a horrible time we also had the elections going on things were in disarray every every state government was trying to get boots on the ground and get income rolling obviously for all the obvious reasons taxes etc and they came up with a very aggressive program uh a program that um, had some uh inherent flaws but nobody knew uh, other states learn from our learning curve in Michigan, and you know we're not not embarrassed to say that we made some mistakes. But now it's it's utilizing every other successful program and putting together something that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, will benefit the state. But it was a different time in two thousand seven and eight. Yeah, it certainly was. So uh, recently, Multimedia Jobs Act was introduced. So Alexander, let's go to you on this. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, so um, right bef- at the end of June, uh, we had bills introduced in the House and the Senate. Uh, it's bipartisan support, um, and we're all excited. There's, it's two bills um, that are being introduced, and they got assigned to the Economic and Development Committees in both the House and the Senate. Um, we're anticipating um, to have hearings um, after Labor Day, so we're really excited to be able to, you know, start moving these bills forward for votes. Well, where are we in the in the process, and and what's your prognosis, so to speak? Well, first, I'd say that, as Dave was mentioning, these bills were built from the ground up, um, and they work really hard on focusing on promoting Michigan uh, business and jobs, and we're really trying to make sure that this is something that. State, and so with that, we're looking at you know having these uh, hearings so we can have a vote, and that's the biggest thing is you know having your legislators uh, know that this is something that's good for the state that we want this in order to get the vote going through. So, you know, we're at the point where it's in the hands of the legislators and the state of really showing that why this is a huge benefit. A couple of points on what this will change if it passes. 
Well, first, we're, I'd say that we're looking at about 300 to $500 million of direct spend and economic impact in the first year. Um, and it's going to really put Michigan on the map. We've got the greatest lakes, Mich uh, roads, urban. Uh, we have rural. We have everything. What we don't have is a film program. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. David, what, what are you hoping the, uh, the business community is going to do in regard to uh, the bill? And is, well, is, is well this we're, we're, we're hope we're hoping here comes my pitch. We're hoping that they will go to our website, uh, mifia.org and send in donations uh, to uh, keep our group alive and well to bring in commerce. And uh, we think it'll be direct, uh, a direct uplift in hospitality, restaurants, hotels, certainly in the short run. Uh, we believe that the uh, for the business community will have a, a retention from universities. Uh, anyways, we're happy to be here. We think it's only good. Go to our website to get more information, please. Uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, David Haddad, chair of the uh, Michigan Film Industry Association, and of course, Alexander Page, uh, a board member. We appreciate you guys and the work you're doing. Anytime any industry comes to the state of Michigan and spends money, we're happy. So good going. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thanks for having us. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman. Stick around. There's more.